Hey everybody, welcome back to my Star Wars channel. May the 4th be with you. It's so nice to see you. My name is David, and today we're gonna look at my completed D'Agostini X-Wing. We would be honored if you would join us. All right, so it's May the 4th, and I just, I had to jump on, right? I had to make something, I had to acknowledge at least the day. Hope you guys are Star Warsing well. That's right. <laughs> turning it into a verb. Hey, you Star Wars however you like to Star Wars, okay? You 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 celebrate the franchise however you like, whichever way you like, okay? There's there's no wrong way to Star Wars. Um, that said, people have been asking to see the completed X-Wing. I'm going to show it to you. Um, it's so big, uh, the only way that I store it is vertical on my uh, game console, so where I have my TV and my PS5. That's the only place I could put it. I didn't install the landing gear. I just wasn't gonna lay it down flat. Uh, I'm gonna try to get the whole thing in one frame. To do that, I have to pull way back because it's so big. I also thought it'd be fun to throw the old school X-Wing pilot in there as well, the original Kenner X-Wing pilot, just to give you some size comparison. Tell me if you think the new X-Wing is the right size for Luke. Because remember the old one, the proportions were way off way off but you tell me if if this is now the right size all right let's look at it all right so this is the completed x-wing and sadly i can't pull my camera back far enough to where i could show you <laughs> how nice this looks without putting it on the floor <laughs> so you'll have to excuse my carpet and uh having it uh lay here without the landing gear also makes the guns in the corner touch you know they wouldn't normally have that same pressure on them if I put the landing gear on it. I don't store it with the landing gear. I store it vertical. I store it upright. The other thing that I have yet to do is I need to find very thin um, neodymium magnets for the canopy. It doesn't close. Again, I'm going to go back to what I showed you guys in previous videos where either my poor model building or, or something, things just don't, you know, mesh. They don't line up perfectly straight. The canopy goes, I can push the canopy down for sure. It just doesn't stay down, you know? So if I had a little magnet, I could keep it closed. I mean, the, short of, you know, completely gluing it closed so that it doesn't have any sort of uh, action at all. But I don't, I don't think, I don't, I don't want to do that. And here's the top most side. You can see what the completed X-Wing looks like. And I've left R2 in there, of course, because I'm probably too afraid to take him out, just in case uh, I never get him back in there again. This is as much of the bottom as I can get in one shot, keeping it all in frame. And here's the backside, the underside. And again, uh, this is where the landing gear would go. It would go inside these little compartments here if I were to install it, but I haven't, but that's what it looks like in its completed state. And same as before, I have to pull the camera back far enough so that you can see the scale, see what it looks like completed. So just have that beautiful rug backdrop. So just to give you a size comparison, if you've ever seen how small and out of proportion the original X-Wing was that came out uh, a long time ago, here's the original figure, right? So we know this figure fits inside the X-Wing, but now you can see that original figure is about in correct proportion with how big this X-Wing actually is. You can even see that my original, this is my beater, my beat up R2, uh, pretty much the same size as the one that comes uh, inside the D'Agostani aircraft. So again, when you're talking size comparison, this bigger X-Wing is about the right scale for the original Kenner figures. Standing vertical, that's how big Luke is compared to the engines. What do you think? You think that's, you think he's too small or do you think that's about what it would look like in real life? All right, that's it. That's everything. I'm not gonna make any more videos <laughs> about that X-Wing. I'm not gonna say that I had a lot of fun building it because it certainly uh, was frustrating. It's fun to have the completed uh, X-Wing and big huge thanks again, once again to my brother for uh, doing that for me. I wish him well, wish him luck on his Millennium Falcon build.
be cool. If I could get some pictures of that, uh, I'd love to show you guys. Maybe, I'll, maybe I can convince him to send me some of his step-by-step uh, -step pictures of, of the Falcon build. How are you spending your May the 4th? Let us know down below and uh, may the force be with you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.